Hey, this is Whistle Norville, and today I wanted to do a quick video about these new hiking shoes I got. These are the Merrill Trail Glove 4s. For some time, I've been looking for a really ultralight pair of hiking shoes. Um, I've had several different shoes in the past, and they've all been really good performance uh, shoe. They're shoes they've generally been uh, low-cut hiking boots or hiking shoes, and um, they work really well. Some most of the time they've been GTX or waterproof, but they've they're heavier than what I really want you know to carry around on the trail. And so I've been looking for an ultralight pair of trail running shoes that I could use for backpacking. And so I think I've found a pretty good pair. Um, these Merrill uh, trail gloves are really, really nice. So one of my goals was to um, get a pair of hiking shoes. What I really wanted to do was find a pair that were less than a pound or, you know, less than about 500 grams. And so um, that cut out a whole bunch of shoes right there. I mean, I, I really felt like that was kind of my, not my number I wanted to shoot for. And so for me, that was, you know, the biggest difference is I wanted something that was ultralight. And so um, that eliminated quite a few shoes. And um, I did find the Merrells. One of my sons recommended them to me and I looked them up and they looked like they were pretty good. Um, they basically come in at 7.5 ounces and uh, 213 grams per shoe. I wear a 9M in the US size. And um, they really were uh, pretty lightweight. And um, there, but the other thing I really wanted is I wanted something that had a really good sole. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, the trail running shoes that are, um, you know, they call them barefoot style or whatever, where you can feel every rock and twig underneath, you know, on the ground. And, um, you know, I kind of get that. I mean, I understand wanting to be able to connect with the trail and really understanding, you know, what's down there. But at the same time, I didn't want discomfort. You know, I wanted, I wanted something more than a, uh, you know, than a moccasin, but something, you know, much, much had a better feeling than, you know, like a, a traditional hiking boot, you know, something that had a really stiff sole. So these Merrells are actually a really good balance of in between. They're, they're very lightweight and they still have a good Vibram sole on them, which insulates your feet from sharp rocks and, you know, things that you don't want to necessarily feel when you're hiking on the trail for backpacking anyway. So I really like these. Um, you'll notice, one of the things you'll notice when you first look at, the, at them is that the tongue is attached on one side, on the inside of the shoe, and they're, it's unattached on the outside of the shoe. Um, so normally on a traditional tennis shoe or hiking shoe, you know, the tongue is uh, detached on both sides and it's only attached at the front where the laces start. Um, with this shoe, the tongue is actually attached on the inside of the shoe uh, the, the side uh, facing the inside of your foot. And it's and that makes it more like a glove. I mean, it really is kind of like that. And so the tongue doesn't really move around on you when you're running or, or hiking. And that's one of the things I really liked about it too. Um, the laces are very low profile. They're very thin and they're just a tiny bit stretchy, um, but they're very uh, lightweight as well. So that it helps, you know, to cut a few grams out on the weight. One of the things that I like to do when I train is I like to wear much heavier shoes. In fact, I have several pair of steel-toed uh, work boots. Um, I have one pair that even has a steel-toed shank, I mean, a, a full steel shank. And so those boots are very, very heavy. And when I'm training, I might just wear those, you know, while I'm walking or hiking, um, just around, just to build up my leg muscles, my ankle muscles. And then when I put these Merrells on, it feels like I'm, you know, flying. You know, it's so, uh, so much lighter, just, you know, pounds lighter. And so um, that's something that I do when I train. A lot of people have asked about whether waterproofing is, you know, worth it on, on hiking shoes. And, um, you know, my last two pairs were GTX style. They had waterproofing. What I wanted to do with this pair was to um, not do that. So I've read a lot of articles on the internet and I've done some of my own testing. And what I found is that even with waterproof shoes, your feet are still gonna get wet. And so what I've chose to do with these is instead of 
investing 15 or $20 into extra waterproofing, um, I decided to get quick dry socks. And so um, I actually bought three new pairs of socks. They were all ankle height socks. Um, I bought one pair of uh, merino wool and I intend to use those when I sleep at night. I'm not gonna wear those with the shoes. But then I also bought two pairs of fully synthetic uh, ankle socks that are very quick drying. And so the idea is that when my feet get wet, um, I'll have two pairs of socks. So one I'll wear until I get to camp and then I'll take the wet, wet pair off and let those dry and put on my dry pair. And then I'll wear those, that pair until my wet pair are dry. And again, these are quick dry socks. So, you know, they're not going, and they're fully synthetic. So they're not, it's not like wearing cotton socks or, or wool where it may take longer for these to dry. These are fully synthetic. I can hang them on the side of my backpack if, while I'm hiking if I want to, or just hang them over a, a branch, you know, at camp. And that way, you know, they have time to dry. And I've got, I've really got three pairs. So I've got a pair to sleep in that are completely dry. And then I've got a pair to wear at camp um, while my first pair is drying. So in summary, I, I really do recommend these Merrells, uh, the Trail Glove Force. They look really good and they're very lightweight. So for me, that's like a trifecta. You know, they look good, they feel good, and they're lightweight. And that's exactly what I was looking for in a trail shoe and a hiking shoe. And I know that not all shoes are for everyone, and maybe these are not for you. But if you're on the fence, I'd say go ahead and try them out. Um, you know, you could send them back if you, if you didn't like them. But um, anyway, I'd, I'd recommend them. So uh, Merrill Trail Glove Force, thumbs up from Whistles. Have a good time, and we'll see you on the trail. Bye.